Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and we're back with The Walking Dead. Uh, we made it back to the pharmacy. We need to get those nitroglycerin pills. Um, I got an axe now. I wonder if I can use the axe on the lock. Let's head back outside. What's up, Doug? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Oh, yes. I would Let's love have to look have around. a look around. Okay. So I think we got to use the axe on the lock, grab this brick, and chuck it through the glass. Move over, Doug. Awesome. Now to distract those things. That came off carefully. That came off really easy. I can't reach that brick. The open the gate. Then he misses. Now's the time. We did it. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? His brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Shut up, Doug. I got to do this now, man. Hit him in the head. Or just keep hitting him in the neck. Whatever. <laughs> like a watermelon. Tasty. Then he doesn't even have the keys on him. There we go. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Maybe if you didn't yell, holy crap, run. And we left the gate open because we didn't have a way to lock it apparently. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yeah, I know it. Can we talk? You have nothing to say to me? Spot. 
Is that like a is that a bug? You guys see that? Weird. Okay. <coughs> so I can use the key or the axe. Hmm. We should try the key first. Gotta hurry. Oh crap. Oh craps. So the whole town's gonna come over here. I should be wonderful. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Oh boy. Stuff's going down, guys. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, <laughs> you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh my. We're all gonna die. It's all over. Nothing. The is get the get the cane. Get the cane. I found something. You have a gun, shoot him. Point it at his head and shoot him. She's so dumb. I choose Doug. She can't figure out batteries. Oh, see ya, girl. Oh boy. Holy. Let's go! They got Carly. That's a ah! Oh no! <laughs> Grab the thing in her back and stab her in the head. Not covered because you son of a bitch! No! Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Do you believe what Larry just did to us? Holy crap. That's nuts. Go to all that work to get your stupid pills, and that's how you repay me?
As citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando oh, may become oh, necessary in order to be able to save the all citizens. So awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all three cities. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Yeah, guns are just worse. You kill the one in front of you, but then you just call all the others around you. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Go find Rick. Thanks, Lee. So you go find Rick in that tank. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Bye, Glenn. Sorry, I guess my viewpoint on the matter is if I'm bit, I'd, I'd rather just go out. Maybe that's harsh. I don't know. But that's where I'm at. Put me down. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. We'll try. Any goodies laying around? Nothing. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. I picked the person with half a brain. If you can't operate batteries, you're not worth it. That's a pretty basic, uh... Life skills, putting a battery in a radio properly. We're looking at Larry. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. 
Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Give it to Doug, he'll want? fix it. You like my daughter? What? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You could just go tell everyone. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> and there goes the power. Sweet. So that was episode one. I think each season has five episodes. That are four, I can't remember. I was honest with Herschel. We'll get a little recap here. Oh, I can move it over. Only 30% chose Duck? Man, 69% of you suck. I guess I was in the minority there. Doug and Carly split right down the middle. There we go, now I can see them all. All right, well there's my decisions, guys. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? How did I do on that episode? Would you guys make any different decisions? I don't know. Just tell me how poorly I played it in the comments below. Um, I think episode two is gonna start up, so this is the perfect spot to stop. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in episode two. Kazmir out.